20 um, with the art department adjunct professor. <clears throat> I thought I would share with everyone there in the art department how I go ahead about setting up grades in D2L. Now I'm sure D2L has their own instructions but I thought I would show you with my actual art class what I do. Also how I set up and putting the syllabus on D2L as well. If you don't want to make copies you can put your syllabus on D2L and then your students can download it as a PDF file. That's how I do it. <clears throat> then they have an electronic copy of it. Likewise if they want to print it out they could do that too. So they have that option. And then anytime I need to update it I can just put a new file in there in D2L. So the first thing we're going to do here is come to the course. So I'm already logged into D2L and up here I've already selected my course which is the Drawing 121 for Spring 2015. That's just <clears throat> uh, what I'm doing now and <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is come over here to Grades now, if you haven't entered in uh, grading items, you won't see these things across here. All right, so you have to have graded items in order to be able to be able to show them. So I'll show you how we we set up graded items. <clears throat> um, and I will go ahead and manage grades and you'll see that I have them all in a row here. So I'm missing module three, so I'm gonna go ahead and create that one. And here is a new item. Now there's a lot of options here. I've never really used any of these ones down here at the bottom. Uh, so I just use numeric, which is the first option. And this one we're gonna call module three. I think I was using Roman numerals. And most of the time I just keep the same short name. Not exactly sure you can read these things as to what they mean. If you had a category for your grades, you could enter that here. I don't tend to do that. Uh, here's where you put in your maximum points. So this is a 35 point grading assignment. Uh, if you wanted to create this as a bonus assignment, you would just click it right here. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead. Now, if you have rubrics, that's a little bit more advanced. Uh, for now, I'm going to skip it. But this is, uh, I'm going to hit save and close. And you'll now see that module three has been added. This is out of order, so I'm going to reorder this by doing more options. And I'm going to make module three the third item and hit save. So now I have all of those. So you would have wanted to create all of however many grading items you have ahead of time. Now let's come over here to grades. This is the part where you need to release your grades in order for your students to be able to see them. Now every time you grade an assignment one at a time, they can see what you've given them as a grade if, if it's using the Dropbox. But a lot of times your projects in art aren't going to have a Dropbox feature where they're submitting an electronic file for uh, graded credit. Uh, so you're manually entering grades into D2L. So the trick here, and this isn't so intuitive, is you want to come over here to grades. That's where I'm at now and you'll see that I've got all my student names right here. And then here's the final calculated grade. You should be seeing something like this. And it's all the way over to the right, so I have to side scroll on my Macintosh computer to see this. And you click this little arrow next to final calculated grade. And here's where it's not intuitive. <laughs> you don't hit edit, you actually hit grade all. You'll get a new window here. And <clears throat> what you want to do is make sure that all of your students are selected. So you can click this little button up here at the top and it'll select all of them for you. Or you could have done it one at a time and select each of your students. This Arnie Aardvark, 
he is your fake student. You can actually log in as Arnie Aardvark in order to see what your course looks like as a student. Uh, however, if you want to see grades for Arnie Aardvark, you actually have to enter grades for it. Now, it's a fictitious... Um, for every class, you'll have Arnie Aardvark. So, uh, so you don't have to worry about... You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's what Arnie Aardvark is in case that's confusing you. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a cute name, but uh, <clears throat> at least you're not going to get that confused with a real person. The next trick is after you have all of these selected, this is the important step, is you click release and unrelease. And then all of these check marks over here to the right, release final calculated grade, should all be checked. And then you hit save. You confirm that yes, that's what I want to do. Now when you come back to your grades, um, let's go back and hit grades up here at the top. The way you know that this has worked is now when you're in your grading view and you see all your students with all of the grading assignments going across, you see this little icon. It's a little guy with eyes and a face. And if you mouse over it, you should get a little thing that says final grade is released. If you see that, that lets you know that your students can see their total grade score as it's being graded. So for instance, as the semester is going on, here's Grant. I might give him 35 points. I might give him 30 points and I'll give him 30 points again. And it gives him a running total for all graded assignments. If you have any of these empty, it doesn't calculate it into their grade and it actually gives you a, sort of a, a color coordination depending on whether, depending what their grade is. And they'll get alerts uh, anytime you, I think they get alerts, uh, anytime you enter a grade. And then <clears throat> all you have to do is put their, what their grade was on their assignment and depending, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to sum, actually submit this because I don't want to put their grades in, but you get the idea that you just write the number in and it probably shouldn't exceed what you've set as the maximum points. And then when you're done grading that assignment for all the students, you, all you do is hit save. And as soon as you hit save, they can now see your grades. All right? And that's really how it works. But that's the little trick. If you don't see this little smiley face guy when you go to grades in your D2L, then they can't see their total running score. Uh, now, at the beginning of the semester, after one grade, that probably doesn't matter. But certainly after two, three, four, after, when you're mid, mid semester, a lot of students like to be able to check their grades. And now they can do it at their own time and privacy and convenience with D2L, as long as you're staying on top of the grades. If you're not entering grades, then it's not going to show where they're at. So it really relies on the instructor being, <clears throat> being consistent on doing grades and turning them in relatively soon. The last thing I thought I'd show you, this is a bonus content, is you have a content area of your website. And this is where I put my syllabus. So here in table of contents, I can click on that <clears throat> and, and I can actually add new modules down here. And if I had notes for every week on what we're working on, I can put them here. So here in the table of contents, I have a place for the syllabus. Now I've actually copied this shell over from last semester. So I'm actually going to delete this old if I delete topic, I'm going to delete this old, um, let's see, I don't need any. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do new. And I'm going to upload a file. Now I've already created, created a PDF of my class. And it's in my Art 121 class here, spring 2015. So I had already created a PDF. I can create that, hit add, and now my syllabus is available to all the students on D2L. And it's really as simple as that. And if I ever needed to upload the PDF, I can actually 
just come over here and edit this. I think I might actually have to delete this one and and add a new one. Uh, so that's how you do D2L in art. Hope that helped, and we'll uh, and have a good have a good semester. Have fun with it. D2L is not a bad thing. Try use it to your advantage. All right, take care.